some of the other problems that can occur with uh, setting up whiteboard um, hardware uh, relate to the data projector that you're using. Obviously, it's very important that you get the uh, image to fit comfortably within the frame of the whiteboard. We can see at the moment that it's overlapping the bottom here of the frame a little bit. There are various settings on the data projector. Um, how to change them varies from one data projector to another, so you may, you may need to, to fiddle around a little bit or to, to ask somebody who knows about the, the hardware. Um, but this is what we're looking for, for the image to be comfortably within the, the border of the whiteboard. And the main settings are zoom, we can see this has uh, zoomed out a little bit so that the image has become smaller. Obviously there's a focus um, on the data projector, there we can see it's, it's gone out of focus. These are all manual settings on the, uh, the machine itself. Uh, and also obviously the direction that it points in from left to right and up and down. This again needs to be within the, uh, within the board. There are some other settings on the data projector which can affect how the board works and how the board responds to where the pen contacts on the whiteboard. Um, these are different again between different data projectors but usually accessed from the remote control. So I'm going to activate the data projector menu now and here we've got a uh, commonplace um, options like brightness and contrast and the colour setting. Uh, you can play around with these as you like but they won't affect the responsiveness of the board. However these options down here, aspect ratio and keystone, may have an effect on, on how the board responds. Aspect ratio, this changes the format of the projection. So there we've gone to a widescreen format. Uh, that's automatic which is, is fitting to the dimensions of the board, which is the same as the, the 4-3 aspect ratio, which we've got it on at the moment. So you may need to alter that, depending on the, the shape of the board and the, and the settings on your computer. And the keystone option changes the shape of the projection. I don't know if you can see that, but it makes it slightly, this has made it slightly narrower at the top and wider at the bottom. And then if I go the other way, Go down to minus numbers. This is now making the projection narrower at the bottom and wider at the top. Um, the reason for this is uh, to deal with any um, discrepancies in, in, in the surface, whether the surface is sloping, uh, the angle of the projector, if the projector has to be angled uh, quite, quite steeply like this, then you may need to alter the, the keystone of the projection like I just did there. And I'm just going to change that back to zero now, which is what we had it on previously. Okay, so we've got everything set up. Uh, the hardware is set up, the whiteboard is working properly, the projection fits nicely into the frame of our, our whiteboard. There's one final thing that we need to do before we can use the whiteboard in class, and that is to calibrate it. If you look, when I um, hold the pen close to the board, the cursor does not match the position of the pen. Obviously, that's impossible to use. Uh, in order to calibrate it, you need to click on a symbol, which you'll find in the bottom right of the screen. I'm going to do that on the computer, because obviously I, I can't do it at the moment with the pen, because um, it, it, the cursor doesn't respond to the position of the pen. So I'm going to open this menu in the bottom right and you'll find a symbol with a small white rectangle which represents the whiteboard. You need to click on this symbol. Here we've got the option Calibrar, it's in Spanish obviously, in English that would be Calibrate. And once you've clicked on that on the computer, you can just follow the instructions on the screen. So I just need to click once and then click in the centre of these crosses which appear. And that way the board calibrates with the pen so that the position of the cursor matches the position of my pen 
and I can use it like I would uh, a mouse with a computer.